What's up, you guys? Good morning. Good morning. What's up, you guys? So it is actually 9.30. It is Christmas break. Um, so I really kind of have like a vacation. I, I think that's what you want to call it. Like somewhat of a vacation girl. Like, you know, I don't have to get up and bring the kids to school, but I don't sleep in still either. I'll be up like at seven o'clock. Okay. I get up, I do my hair, I get dressed. I put on my everyday basic eyelashes. Girl, I know y'all like everyday basic eyelashes. Yes, loves. These are my everyday basic eyelashes. Like girl, I ain't trying to go outside with no big old eyelashes on. Like, where am I going with that? These are my everyday basic eyelashes, okay? Girl, yes. Get up every morning, get my work done. I have things to do. Motivation, progress. You know, I don't, just because I work from home doesn't mean I got to be lazy. So today, I'm going to edit my video. Hello, Mr. Cameron. Can you untie this? Sure. Thank you. Would you like to say hello to everybody while I untie it? Hello. I'm going to get into this video real quick. Okay. But I just had to say this real quick to you guys. Did y'all see The Best Man, the final chapters? Okay. Y'all know the movie The Best Man, right? Like, I love that movie. That movie's a really good movie, right? It's old. It's like a really, really good movie. So they got The Best Man, the final chapters. Okay. Girl, look. I don't know where you can stream it all from, but I have it on Peacock. I watch it on Peacock. And I listen, girl, I don't know if you can actually watch it all on Peacock. Meaning, you know, you can pay $5 a month to get Peacock without like um you still gonna get commercials but you get all the newest new stuff you, sometimes i get the newest movies that's just streaming in the movie theater so you know that's the peacock premiere five dollars a month ain't bad so i don't really know if you can watch it on like regular free peacock but girl it got eight episodes and it was amazing like the final chapters was really really good like really good i really really liked it watched it one day really really good so you know check it out if you ain't got you know peacock premiere or whatever they call it for five hours get you some because the final chapters is definitely worth it i was kind of like pissed like why did you make this into a series but it needed to be it was definitely worth it. there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world All right, all right, you guys. So this is the wig that I got from no other than Sam's Beauty by Sensational. Her name is Amina. And this is the Sheer Muse. So this one is a 13 by 4 synthetic lace frontal girl. And let me tell y'all, I wanted to be really prepared for this unit because trust me when I tell y'all, I do not like to be unprepared. And I wanted it to work out. The color palette is phenomenal. They have many different colors. And as you guys see, I got my tools ready. I got my flat iron ready to like 20. I got me some styling moves. And that's what I'm just doing is preparing the unit. Um, I have seen plenty of videos. Or not plenty, but I did watch two videos on YouTube. And just see how they went about styling this unit, which was simple and easy. I really do want to try something short because, you know, after a while, long hair is cool. But girl, listen. I just want something really short and cute and I really find like it's really a cool idea to try out like a short wig prior to chopping your own natural hair off. So y'all know I've been wanting to cut my hair for the longest but it's just crazy out here in Arizona because sometimes it's hard to find like a really good stylist and with the stylist today they want you to send pictures of the texture of your hair and all of that extra stuff like girl you gonna do my hair or not. So I have yet to find like a really good stylist to do my natural hair. So until then, I'm going to just try out wigs and see what works best for me. And for the most part, just getting this wig prepared was super easy. But I will be honest and tell y'all, be super careful when you're putting heat on this unit. That's the reason why I did put the washcloth or the towel down prior because putting heat directly on the unit, I did notice that some of the hairs were coming out, which was cool because it thinned it out for me. And that's what I'm doing here in the front. I'm just going to thin out the hairline a little bit and then we're going to jump right into this unit. But you could definitely check her out on Sam's Beauty Sensational and her name is Amina in the color 1B. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. What's up, everybody? So, I did show you guys how the wig came, how I, you know, put on a mannequin head and kind of like hot press the edges. And also I did tweeze a little bit. I'm not really sure if it needed much tweezing, but I just felt like, you know, let me just try my best because I don't want to get on camera looking no fool. But I'm really, really excited. And then I'm kind of like nervous about this entire wig 
only because sometimes, you know, some things just ain't for everybody. And I'm really hoping that this is for me because, girl, I want a short hairstyle so bad. And before you actually cut your own natural hair into a short style, I really feel like you should find one that's suitable for you. Like so many different options out there. I feel like if you really want to cut your hair short, girl, go ahead and try a short wig and make sure that the style is for you. If not, then move on to the next short wig. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though my hair is not long, like it used to be super duper long and it's not like that anymore. It doesn't grow like that anymore. Just due to like the, my health issues. I still have like a nice amount of hair, even though it's thinner and so forth. And yeah, I be trying to hold on to it, okay? Because look, girl, I could just put it into little cornrows and a little ponytail in the back and rock out for the day, especially when I want to do my hair. And also I'll be like, let me just keep my hair because it could just grip onto a wig could grip onto it. I'll be just I'll be just saying things like that. But I really do want a short, short hairstyle. And I feel like for me, I have procrastinated this for years. And not only because of procrastination, but because out here, I really don't find any too many dope hairstylists that I would let cut my hair off. But I do really want a short hairstyle and a short hairstyle that can actually work with me. Not something where I got to get up and put a hot comb or a curling iron to every day. I want something that's easy to maintenance, something easy, but still look really, really cute. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just hoping that, you know, in my favorite, it works out because I do feel like it's a really cute wig. But we're going to try this. Okay, let's just give it a try. So I'm not going to really talk too much, or maybe I am through this part of the video, but I did go ahead and put on my wig cap, and I'm going to be using this Even New York Tinted Wig Spray. I think the color that I have is a light, a light brown, but I did spray it on the inner cap. So when I first put it on, like, there it goes. This is how it looks. It's short. It's curly. It's really, really cute. And so far, you know, hey, you got to make it work for you. But I did notice prior to cutting all the lace off that I did need to tweeze some more of the hairline. So we're going to get into tweezing it. You know, you got to just find what works specs for you. And I didn't really want it thick at the hairline. So I'm really happy that they did give enough lace for parting. So that way it's easy to pluck the hairline. Now that I went ahead and cut, or excuse me, tweezed the hairline, I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off. Now you can either use a tinting spray to color the lace, you can use your pressed powder, or your concealer or foundation. I just feel like sometimes when you use the pressed powder, it doesn't stick well to the lace. So I just, you know, hey girl, just use what I got. Now, I don't normally synthetic spray down synthetic wigs, but because I wanted it to look proper, I just sprayed in the part right there. Hey, girl. My little granddaughter is right here. And high five to you, too. Woo. Um, yeah, hey, girl. So we're going to go ahead and use the mousse and just go ahead and style it. Give some sideburn hairs because I definitely always need sideburn hairs. And I'm going to go back in with my Aussie Instant Freeze and spray right, right there where the part is at so that way it holds down the unit and you're definitely going to need to blow dry it if you want it to stick I mean that's just in my opinion sometimes it just depends on the lace but for the most part you know it's super easy a short style is always cute something easy you know what I mean like I don't really like doing my hair all the time and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one like that but girl now I could have went ahead and cut these sideburns but I wanted to see how they would look if I just left them you know it's all trial and error but now this is the part where I'm going to go ahead and give me some type of a little bit of baby hair. It's not really a lot because I don't want a lot, but I do want to take away from like the rough edge look, like the rough edge.
really know what the back look like because, you know, I ain't got no mirror back there. You know, I ain't got no eyes in the back of my head. But I'm just saying, I think I worked this week out, hunties. Okay, listen. Whew. I felt a little bit nervous. I didn't really know how it was going to go. Your girl was like, oh, my God, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to look so stupid. I'm not going to, it's not going to work out for me. But, girl, I was prepared for this one. Like, when I say I was prepared, I was prepared, honey. Let me tell y'all. Whew, child. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. First of all, when I looked at the wig on, um... Sam's Beauty, I was like, okay, this look really cute on the model, but I need to see what this look like in real life, real life. So I did look on YouTube and, and I did watch like two or three tutorials and I was like, okay, this is what I need to be prepared for. Even though each person kind of like did their own thing, they had their own twist. Um, I think it was Trendy K. I, I watched Trendy K for sure. And I think that was the second, she did the video twice. Like she had to come back if I remember correctly because the wig was giving her issues, but she made it work for her and it looked so cute on her. Like I think like really short hair looked cute on her. And the other young lady, unfortunately I couldn't remember, I can't remember her name, but um, they both did something totally different. So even though they did something different, I did my own thing just like they did. But they both was able to help me be prepared for this wig, like to know what I'm looking forward to, look ahead. Because it's the worst thing when you think you can do, like you see a wig, you get it, and then you put it on, you like, girl, this is not what I thought it was going to be. So I wanted to be prepared, and that I was, okay? But because the lace is thicker and it's synthetic hair, you got to put a little bit of pressure on it. You got to apply some pressure, okay? The best part, and the best part was that the, the hairline was not so thick, and it gave you some room for parting. But I think, like, for real... This wig worked out cute. I, I like this. Honeys. I like this. Now, I could have went ahead and cut the sideburns, but I just wanted to see how it was going to look with them curled up like that. You know, give it a little razzle-dazzle effect. But, girl, like, I don't know about y'all, but I like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is cute. Like... First of all, I don't really want anything to age me, but let's just be for real. I'm about to be 49 years old, honey. I'm I'm at my age. I think I look good for my age, but I do like this. This is cute, girl. I don't know what y'all talking about, but I, I like this, okay? You know, Sensational be coming through, okay? What is her name again? Amina. Sensational be coming through, all right? Amina is doing it for me. She's giving me that look that I wanted. I like this. This is cute. And you know, you just, you definitely have to make the lace your own. And even though I do see a little bit of speckles right there, girl, uh -huh. Look, let me take some little concealer, girl. You know, you just take a little concealer and you kind of try to be mindful when you do the concealer, though. Let's see. This this wig is cute. This this wig came out super cute. I really really like this, y'all. Check it out on Sam's Beauty. Let me know what y'all think of this unit. Amina is her name. Go get you one, girl. Definitely go get you one of these. Okay. This is easy breezy. This is a curl. Yes, this is definitely cute. I'm I'm happy. Check all the information down below for Sam the Beauty. Let me know what you think of this sensational unit. Was it a hit, a flop, a bop, or whatever? But I love you all. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I will see y'all on the next one. Go, go, go.